From factory floor to billionaire media mogul, Jimmy Lai is a well-known figure in Hong Kong. But after a national security law was enacted in 2020, the Apple Daily newspaper founder went from a life of luxury to a prison cell. In December, Lai will go on trial, accused of colluding with foreign forces. He is already in prison after convictions of unlawful assembly and fraud. The piling up of cases is seen by his international legal team as a form of lawfare aimed at discrediting Lai. What happens is the authorities, instead of just using libel laws or counter-terrorism laws, which they've used for many years to try to silence journalists, they're now using a range of other laws too. Media and legal analysts believe Hong Kong is targeting the pro-democracy publisher to send a message. And so with these national security cases, it puts everybody on notice that if this could happen to somebody as prominent and as wealthy as Jimmy Lai, uh, it could happen to anybody. Hong Kong police told VOA they cannot comment on ongoing legal proceedings. The city chief executive, John Lee, did not respond to a request for comment. While security secretary in 2021, Lee said the Apple Daily case is not about journalists' work. With the national security law in play and Lai and other independent media figures detained or under summons, Hong Kong has dropped in press freedom rankings. Media outlets are starting to close. Lai's pro-democracy outlet Apple Daily was first. With executives detained and assets frozen, the iconic newspaper published its final edition in June of 2021. Popular media outlets Stan News and Citizen News followed suit just six months later, the latter citing security concerns for staff. Two former Stan News editors went on trial Monday, accused of publishing seditious content. Media freedom does still exist, says Richburg, with major international news outlets still working in the city. But the changing environment is making some journalists nervous. Journalists have to figure out a new way of navigating what I call this new normal. Uh, you can still operate here. Uh, you have to be a lot more careful. A lot of sources don't want to talk to media, particularly foreign media now. And journalists never know when they're going to be accused of inadvertently going over one of these kind of uh, vague red lines. For 74-year-old Lai, a conviction in next month's national security case could result in a lengthy prison term. He now faces the rest of his life behind bars simply for doing his job, simply for being a journalist and a media owner, and for standing up and speaking truth to power. Hong Kong's persecution of Lai and others is condemned by the U.S. State Department. It is warned that authorities are using the law to silence dissenting views and to stifle freedom of speech. Laurel Bowman, VOA News, Washington.